Dr. McGrath. Oh, well, what a pleasant surprise. We were just talking about you. I hope we're not intruding. Oh, for, not at all. Uh, where are Arthur and Vivian? We didn't want to have that drink with them. Hortense, <laughs> please. We didn't want to have that drink with them. <laughs> so we excused ourselves and said we were going over to choir practice. <laughs> And then we sneaked over here. Because we didn't want to leave without getting to know you both a little better. Just saying hello in the driveway, we both got good feelings about you two. Just saying hello. <laughs> now, please, please, come in, come in, come in, Walter. Look who sneaked over on their way to choir practice. The Dr. McGrath. Without the harmon? Without the harmon. <laughs> oh, Mort, I've been so anxious to meet you. And you too, Walter. You don't get to meet very many liberal people at the hospital unless you spend all your time in the natural childbirth clinic. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Walter, I told you they wouldn't be dull. <laughs> We're not dull. <laughs> How about a drink? <laughs> oh, something that won't swell the capillaries in my nose. A, a double scotch. <laughs> Likewise. Oh, Maud, Maud, I've heard so much about you. Protester of everything, backer of lost causes, married four times. Well, Channing, I believe we should all do what we do best. <laughs> oh, Maud, I knew when I heard about you that you were definitely primo primo. Walter, did you hear that? We are primo primo. Primo, primo. Isn't that a cigar? Oh, well, he's a funny person, Channing. Thank you. You know, Channing, I just finished reading the most stimulating think piece in the New Republic. Definitely primo, primo. Uh, it was written uh, by... Lord, a... Walter, may I say something to you frankly? Oh, please, Channing. Frankly is the only way we talk in this house. Right, Walter? Frankly, no. <laughs> Them, Channing. Oh, Hortense, permit me. We like you. <laughs> right, Horty? Right. Uh, now, about Vivian and Arthur, we're very fond of them. They're lovely people, but we are definitely not on the same wavelength. Oh, please. Channing, there's no need to explain. I mean, it's perfectly obvious. They are our closest friends, and they're wonderfully warm, dear, sweet human beings, but... well, in a sophisticated world of Arpege, Lanvin, Fabergé, they are definitely aqua velva. <laughs> I'd rather like that myself. <laughs> you are a witty woman, Maud. Now, wait a minute, Maud. You know, Arthur is my best friend, and he's not square. As a matter of fact, he's primo primo. Oh, please, Walter, you're defending a man who eats pastrami on raisin bread. <laughs> oh, Maud, you are a witty woman. And a feast to the eyes. Why, well, thank you, Chen. Thank you. Now, about this think piece. It concerned itself with the cutback in grants for research in parapsychology. And uh, for the psychiatrist... Lord, I'm sorry, I'm interrupting you again, but there's something I have to say. Well, of course, Channing, go ahead. Thank you, Maud. <laughs> Maud, you're a very attractive woman, otherwise I wouldn't be here. Now, if that's chauvinistic, so be it. <laughs> but I love your mind, too. <laughs> and I love your taste. I mean, just look what you've done with this room. I mean, your sense of color is marvelous. The drapes are perfect, and I'd like to go to bed with you. Oh. 